Hello, people of the internet, hopefully, if this video works. It has been a long time since I've made a video, and hopefully, this is where that changes. Because if you're watching this around the time it was posted, then you'll know that summer is soon, and then I'll have the opportunity to make more videos. So, <clears throat> Today I am playing yet another sci-fi game, but this one isn't Planetside. I've actually had... Uh, some people may have known that I did a video on the game Hyperlight Drifter and planned to make that into a series, but it failed because iMovie deci decided to go to war with me. Uh, yes, I use iMovie to edit my videos. It's actually pretty easy to use. Anyways, I'm playing Fractured Space today. Fractured Space is a 5v5, a 5v5 uh, MOBA style game, like Massive Online Battle Arena, I believe that's what it's called. Anyway, it's kind of like Dota, League of Legends, Smite, but this time you're flying giant spaceships. And so I'm just going to jump right in, and the loading screen is pretty long, so I'm just going to leave the footage of the loading screen in and then just fast forward it and I'll just sort of explain the game as it goes. So, just gonna do this. And now, I'm gonna just kinda watch a YouTube video while I wait. So I will see you then, as I just speed up the video. Okay, so the round has started, and I will be playing as the Sentinel, which is a pretty fast ship, and it's pretty good at just flying around and doing damage and stuff. Also, on this side, I can see the ships that my team is using. Looks to be a good balance, and we have two Sentinels. Oh, wait, that guy switched to a Leviathan. Um, I don't have a Leviathan because you need to gain experience by using like specific ships in order to do that. So yeah, so there's three different like companies that manufacture ships. There's the USR Space Exploration, there's Zarek Industrial, and there's a uh, Titan Defense Systems. So the Sentinel is a Titan ship, and basically when you play as a ship that is on a specific when you play as a ship that is a uh, specific company's ship, then well, then you'll gain experience for that company. Then, if you get enough experience, you can get new weapons for the ship. As you can see here, I really am fine with the default weapons. And you can also get new ships. And the ships are pretty balanced out, where some ships are better against other ships, but the main default ships, like the Sentinel, are actually pretty good. <sighs> Anyways. So the game's starting up, and now we will have a loading screen that will also display a little hint thing showing the tab menu. There's just a little bit of lag at the beginning as players are joining. Uh, don't worry, I'll explain the ship's abilities and stuff. Also, this game isn't very loud, which means it's easier to commentate. Because if you've seen my other videos, then you'll know that it's really loud. And here we go, they're on Take it out of here. So, <clears throat> so basically, uh, those white dots on the bottom right side of the screen. Those are some mining stations that are currently owned by no one. And so if we capture them, then we'll gradually get resources, which we will eventually use to gain upgrades for our fleet. And so the blue circles are things that we own, and my ship appears to be turning. It's just like some kind of demon. 
what, what is happening? Oh my god, of course it stops moving with that. What is happening? All my controls have stopped working. Shoot! Oh, so this is the effect of the lag. Also, the entire enemy team is here. Basically, um, your goal is to event is to capture mining stations to gain resources and eventually capture the enemy forward station so that you can jump to the enemy base and then try to capture it. And every once in a while, a gamma sector will open up in the center, and then you can go there. And then whoever secures the gamma will grant their team a combat buff. Incident, things are going better. And now our entire team is here. And okay, the other team has respawned. <coughs> oh my speed hasn't recharged yet. So yeah, um my friend Callum also got this game, but pretty much hasn't played it yet, so hopefully we'll end up playing this game together in a future video. So let's ship over there, the uh, Reaper. It is like a uh, ranged ship. The target has dropped off the where it's designed to uh, shoot at long range. Let's focus on this. I'm gonna smash into an asteroid. Oh, you did a lot of damage. And 
probably not too many people are going to go for uh, Gamma 1, but I'll just stall the enemy. That's the best I can do. You can actually destroy those things so that the enemy won't know when you're capturing it. take damage, but it would have significantly stopped my progress. Okay, well there's all the guys. 
guys from earlier. <laughs> players Seriously, this is one of the... whatever...
What's happening? Raider doesn't. Command has surrendered. What? 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 The map didn't show anyone in our base. So let's review the stats. Um, whoever Demoniac Hun, he did fantastic with nine kills and only three deaths. Uh, behind him, pretty much I'm right behind him. I also got second most captures. Second most captures, second most deaths, and second most kills. Also the most assists, which I'm assuming was when my little speed boost thing ended up also hitting the other guy. Like the teammates around me. <sighs> Anyways. Let's just go through another loading screen. <sighs> okay, here is the thing. 1,265 experience, 14,000 credits. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I did fine. My teammates really didn't. Well, well, some people did, 